Hi all, welcome back to my channel and our kayaking adventures. I'm still in Louisiana helping out with the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. Well, I wanted to go kayaking because it's been a month since I've been kayaking and I reached out to Jessica of Honey Island Kayak Tours and she invited me to come along on one of her tours. So let's go meet her and see what the day has to offer. As some of you know, in October and November, I was deployed with FEMA to assist survivors from Hurricane Ida. Hurricane Ida was a Category 4 hurricane which destroyed parts of Louisiana when it made landfall August 29, 2021. Working six days a week, 10 hours a day, I was in need of some relaxation. I reached out to a few kayak Facebook groups to see if anyone could help get me out on the water. Jessica, operator of Honey Island Kayak Tours, was able to accommodate me and let me join in on one of her tours. This would be the first time I had paddled in Louisiana, a state I had once lived in when I was just a little boy. Her tour group was supposed to launch their kayaks at 11 a.m. I arrived early to meet Jessica and to figure out how I was going to attach my GoPro to the kayak. Fortunately, her kayaks had a mounting piece that I was able to utilize. I couldn't wait to get out on the water and explore the swampy waters of Louisiana. We would be paddling parts of the old Pearl River and some of the channels that had been dug out years ago for logging. All right, we're going this direction. One of the great things about being with the tour rather than kayaking in an area alone is that a good guide will tell you some of the rich history of the area and Jessica had many stories to tell. As we left the channel and entered part of the Old Pearl River, you could see some of the various high water marks on the bridge. This was going to certainly be an interesting area. So all the gray moss that's hanging from the trees, it's called Spanish moss. It is not Spanish and it is not moss. It's actually a bromeliad, so it's just an air plant. It's not a parasite. It's not hurting the trees. And its closest relative is, the, is a tropical fruit that we eat all the time, if you guys want to take a guess. It is a pineapple. This area with all the old cypress trees was amazing and certainly fun to navigate around.
you gotta be out there every day. It's so much work. And like, you gotta be out there every day anyway. Well, they went to the way. The outside of that house boat doesn't look like much, but the inside is gorgeous. As we paddled the area, I kept my eyes out in hopes to see an alligator. However, there would be no gator found on this adventure. That's okay. It was a nice relaxing paddle. Something I needed. It was great assisting families needing help from the aftermath of the hurricane during the previous week, but sometimes you need to take some time for yourself to recharge, and paddling the Old Pearl River near Honey Island is just what I needed. As we came around this next bend, we found a few boats scattered around in and out of the water. These were possibly placed here by the hurricane. A little bit of a current. I was checking out that other boat that, there's a sunken one too. Yeah, there's actually seven. Seven of them? I certainly had a great time kayaking with Jessica of Honey Island Kayak Tours and her guests. I was appreciative of the chance to get out on the water and explore some of the swamps of Louisiana. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, click that like button. If you're new to this channel or a longtime follower who has not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Let's get me up to that thousand subscriber goal. I look forward to visiting Louisiana sometime in the future with Miss Kayak 7 Seas so she too can add a new state to her kayaking adventures. Until the next time, hope to see you out on the water someday.